Friends, right in here and welcome back to another episode of Building This Damn Pinball Machine. So last time we ran out of wire, so a thousand feet, God damn it, we're not going to run out again. So now, today I think we're going to try and hook up the flashers and we printed off a bunch of track for some LED uh, strips that will go probably along the bottom of the cab and maybe on the back if I don't run out. So let's do that and Kimmy has to make her appearance. And we start filming, so let's get going. All right, we got the RGB flashers wired. That's this. It goes all the way down. Up, I got a little, maybe a six or eight inches too long, but they got to have slack so that when you pull this down, it doesn't pull it off of there. But again, that may be a little too long. So if we come around here, here's the wiring harnesses. They go obviously up through this hole right here. The flashers will sit. You can see when I made that, I cut out little notches for it. So, we will do that here. So I'm trying to take these off, but for some reason I use these, those called lag screws rather than hex bolts, and that's a giant pain in the ass. So, anyway, I gotta take that off, take the TV out and drill some holes to put my flashers on the front. So, we're getting there. All right, sorry it's kind of dark, but you can kind of see these little notches that I made when I was seeing, seeing this front here, and there's one back under here. So what I need to do is mark them, drill a little pilot hole so I know where they go, and then drill a, I think it's a one inch hole or so in the front, whatever I need to get the these through, and go from there. All right, we got all the holes drilled. Here's what it's going to look like. I need to tighten these, but they're on there. So I super glued, it's kind of funny, hot glue, uh, the LED to this little printed piece here. And then I'm printed this little cover. So they fit all together like that. And then they're bolted. So now I got to put the others on, tighten the screws down, not too tight. Actually, they're probably just good finger type, but I'll cinch them down a little bit and go from there. All right, got it done. I'm not sure exactly why this is like this. I must have had a measurement wrong uh, when I CNC'd it or something. Oh well, doesn't look too bad. Let's get it mounted back on there. All right, got that back up there. You need to touch up a little paint here. Go back here, we got all our quick connects code. Two, four, five. Uh, I don't know, three's up, oh, yeah, there it is, there's three. All right, we got a little too much wire, but it's all good. It can just hang there. It's not hurting anything. So I think that's where I'm going to call it today. Next time, I'm printing parts for the fan and the strobes to go up here to mount them. So the strobes will be facing forward and the fan will sit on top of it. I have printed these for the undercab lights. I need to print some more black ones. Hopefully I don't think that'll fit better with my color scheme. For right here to hold this LED straight for the addressables. I need to do the RGB buttons. Which is this. Uh, mostly the flippers and the magnet safes and I think that's almost it. We're getting close. I gotta drill holes for these three buttons. I don't have drill bits. I need to order those. I keep forgetting to do that. Then we gotta test it. And then it's on the computer stuff. So we're getting there someday. Anyway, appreciate you watching and keep it real. We'll see you next time. Bye.